how is it going guys this is Nick with Whiskey Ben Outdoors and today you're gonna watch a video of me doing some bass fishing in Doolars, Louisiana right here I am throwing a humdinger spinnerbait around this point the currents flowing around the point and I was just slow rolling this spinnerbait and this is the only fish I catch on it actually and on this day I thought that was gonna be the ticket but I catch this little dink right here and as you watch the videos, you'll see it kind of was a dink fest of a day. Had one okay fish, nothing worth bragging about. But uh, ended up learning a consistent bite. Uh, caught a little pattern on a frog after this fish right here. Then I uh, fished that spinnerbait for a little bit longer. Had no other bites. And right here uh, is when I started fishing a frog in this little canal. If you kind of look at this highlighted area right here, I found some underwater grass is right below the surface you can't see it in the video and I started to find that the fish were in between the bank and where the grass started there's a little pocket where the grass wasn't growing off the bank and I catch this fish right here on the frogs my first fish on the frog for the day and it kinda started to build my pattern for the day and how I targeted the fish for the remainder of the trip So after that fish, I continued to fish the frog some more. Same area, same canal, small little stretch, maybe a hundred yard stretch. Same thing in between the grass and the bank. And this fish right here actually was my best fish of the day, if I remember. It still wasn't anything worth bragging about. It was kind of a slow day. Uh, with the way the conditions were, I actually was expecting to have a really good day fishing, but it turned out to be pretty slow. Until I got on a few fish with this frog and ended up being the only thing I was able to catch them consistently on. Love it. I thought for sure it was going to be a spinnerbait day, but definitely wasn't. They wanted that frog. And if anyone's wondering, the uh, frog I was throwing is just a traditional spro frog. Normally in conditions like this, uh, where it's more open water style of fishing, I like throwing a popping frog because you get a little bit more action. Uh, irritates the top of the water a little bit more and I'm usually more successful at a popping style frog but I had this frog tied on started throwing it and was uh, it was a dink fest started catching a bunch of fish about this size caught who knows maybe five six more off camera but it, it was consistent it was a consistent bite and then for this last fish right here that I caught on camera when the boat pans over you're able to see that this didn't come from a grass line like I did further up the same canal this fish came out of some lily pads and I fished and fished and fished these lily pads and it, they were not as productive as hoping they would be as they usually are actually I, I come to this canal all the time it's one of my favorite spots to fish but it is what it is sometimes it's like that they, they wanted the frog this fish right here completely choked it choked it uh, but it was, it was just a dink fest sometimes that's what you get that's how it is and this is actually going to be it for the video for today if y'all like what y'all saw like what y'all been seeing in these videos please like and subscribe uh, we really appreciate everyone's input thank y'all